In this video, we are going to rebuild this old 350 Vortec motor and throw it on the engine dyno. Spoiler alert, it doesn't make a thousand horsepower, but this is a very affordable motor that anyone can build that produces great power. So if you're on a budget and looking to go fast in your hot rod, join me as we assemble this engine and get it ready for its date with the dyno. First things first, we're going to disassemble this motor to give it the proper rebuild it deserves. I ordered rings, bearings, and stock replacement pistons. This motor is actually the first motor I ever owned. My dad and I rebuilt this engine for my first car when I was around 14 years old. Since then, it's had its fair share of abuse and nitrous bottles ran through it. We got the cam bearings in and honed the cylinders. I went ahead and bought a set of ARP rod bolts and had the rods resized. The reasoning is I plan on putting nitrous to this motor and I want it to be able to handle some RPM. The cam I'm using is a hydraulic roller cam that we used in the Camaro for a couple years. It ran great on motor and of course even better on nitrous. Legend, what do you think? You ready to get this thing going? He doesn't know what to think about the motors laying around. I have a clip of him when I pulled the motor out of the Camaro that he did not like. He's kind of a weirdo. He doesn't like things uh, out of the ordinary, so. Say hi, Legend. Legend, say hi. <laughs> what is it, Ledge? You don't like that motor? <laughs> you don't like it? got the motor loaded up. We are headed to Henson Racing Engines. Mike is going to let us use his dyno and we're going to see how much power this thing makes. We almost forgot to go over the combo. This is a 350 standard bore, two bolt main, Vortec heads, Victor Senior intake with a 750 quick fuel double pumper. This is a hydraulic roller camshaft. Cam specs, I'm trying to think here. It is 561, 576, 242, 252. That is with a 1.6 roller rocker arm. Lobe separation is 110. I'll put the cam card up here. Anyways, very cheap build. Anybody can build this motor. Let's head to the dyno, see how much power this thing makes. This may be a combo that you consider if you're just trying to get your car off the jack stands this summer. Mike says it's a go. Can we cover your ears? We got 
What do you think it was going to make? Yeah, I said 350 or 375, but I think it's going to make more. What do you think? I want to make one more a little higher. Okay. Then we're going to pull a plug and look at it. Take them back apart, just check the mains or stuff. A lot of times, yeah. Big motors we do. Yeah. Most of the 600 inch and up stuff we do. You like that? 420? I have bounced to that. Yeah, 419. That's what it wants right there. We found the right timing and the right jet. And that's at 34 degrees? That's at 36. 36? 408 foot pounds of torque. 409. This thing made 419 horsepower and 409 foot-pounds of torque. I'm really happy with that. It's a very basic, cheap engine that anybody can build. You can pick this long block up at any salvage yard, pick you up an intake carburetor, find a camshaft that's parallel to this one, and build similar power. If you're on a budget and looking to get the best bang for your buck, this may be a combination that you consider. Yes, you can go get a 5360 build similar power, if not more power. This is something that I just had laying around. It was cheap, easy, and affordable for myself. So that's why I went this route. Best bang for your buck. Can't beat it. I'm happy. That's all that matters. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Shoot me a message. Slide in them DMs. Whatever the cool kids say. Be sure to like, subscribe wherever the hell if you like this video please like subscribe we have a couple of videos out with this already in the truck spraying nitrous for the first time go check it out thank you again for watching and we will see you on the next video